So what do you think is wrong with the car? Hmm. I hope it's not either. Alright. So, this is the Hyundai Accent 2009. It uh, had a dead battery, but uh, it has a... It has a crank, but no start. So let me show you what it's doing. And I have beliefs that it's the timing, that it's uh, it's off. But I mean, it's already been cranked a hundred times. So if the damage is done, it's been done. But I'm gonna go ahead and crank it. So I verified spark, verified fuel. Um, now the last thing, I mean, all the sensors are plugged in. So the timing, of course, the timing has been redone. It was done a couple of years ago by yours truly. Just didn't do it. Just didn't do a video. Um, the timing cover, this was all disintegrating for some reason. It was it's almost like the plastic or material was made out of sugar. It was all broken, so I, I removed the cover. And down there, at the crank pulley, there's a lot of, like, the, the, the bottom, this piece right here is the same material as the top part, but that one's a little sturdier. And down here, it's like, I mean, you can, I don't have a screwdriver, but let me show you right here. You see that? The material's just like breaking apart. all the, the crank I mean uh, the timing cover like it is just falling apart so I have beliefs that maybe some of this material it just disintegrates I have beliefs that maybe some of the material fell off went through the pulley and potentially caused the timing to jump and It's just a bell. I'm gonna set it to top dead center, which the crank, I'm gonna put that at top dead center. And then we're gonna check this one. And I did it yesterday, but it was kind of late and uh, it doesn't line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this top one. I believe it, it takes two revolutions to make one camshaft rotation of this pulley. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. It's a 19 millimeter uh, wrench or socket. I'm gonna get this to the top dead. Now we're gonna verify down there, which it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I got, I'm using a GoPro, but basically right there where my fingernail's touching, right by the belt, there's a little dial. It's plastic, it's showing 10 degrees, and then all the way to the right, it shows a T for top dead, TDC. So I'm gonna go and do that, and I'm gonna show you afterwards. I'm sorry, I was misunderstood. I was uh, I was wrong. This is not a 19, it's a 17. So I got real hard. I think that material got is jammed up down there. Yeah, it's jamming it up. Okay, so that blue line right there along with that little dot there's a red let me back it up that's supposed to be colored red it's a little notch which you're supposed to be able to see that see that through this hole
see that? You see that right there? So that means it's hopefully TDC. It's kind of hard to see down there, but I do not see that. The crank, the crank will have a little, no a little notch. I'm gonna give it one more revolution. So, I don't know how good this is going to pick it up, but down there. On the crank, there's a notch, and then on the little plastic tab, there's a, not, uh, a little line. So, the bottom is top dead center. And, remember I said this, this little dot is supposed to be on there. So I have reason to believe that this timing has jumped. So good thing I just need to move this guy back here. And hopefully, hopefully we're good. And the engine's not destroyed. So, but I am going to remove that plastic back there. So I am going to have to remove this belt that belt and the air conditioning belt this one runs off of the water pump belt and then this belt here runs off the crank so that one runs this and then this one runs this the water pump runs the Oh, this one was a 17. The crank down there, that is a, that is a, a 22. So first, we're going to take, we're going to loosen up this guy. Yeah, we're going to loosen this guy up. Sorry, I didn't film it, but have the belts off. I'm going to take this uh, Pulley off or the, the bolt. Does it just come off? Oh, this one just comes right off. And I believe this only goes on one way, so so you know you can't do it wrong. Yeah, this little one. This is just tearing itself apart. So I have reason to believe that. See, it's all gritty in there. See, it's like it's been chewing up pieces of uh, of this of this. Wish I had an air hose. I believe these are number tens. Like this no more. Get down no more, cause. I'm gonna run. I'm not gonna run that anymore. Yeah, it's all caked in there. So Yeah, look, this is, this is like, I don't know what this is made out of, but it's like, how it deteriorates. But, that's the line that we no longer have. We ended up putting it on this line. When I say that line, I mean... Got this line right here, a little no notch. So I can't use that no more. All right, so I rotated the crank a little. Look at this. I'm gonna rotate it some more. I'm gonna put the bolt on there.
that's as good as we're going to get it. Now there's a little, there's a little triangle right here where my, my fingernails at on the actual pulley. See, it's got a little yellow mark. I need to figure out what that thing does. But here's a diagram of the way the timing is supposed to be. On the bottom, it shows the sprocket that I was just finished talking about. On the way, it has the timing marks, and above as well on the top sprocket. Not like that much. So this is gonna be the first start. I can And of course, I don't have a key. You think it's gonna work? Go get a look. We'll get a gander. Come on. No? Uh, he doesn't care. Oh, look, I'm sitting. My fat butt was sitting on it. Oh, it's either gonna go or is it gonna blow? First try! That's all it was, the timing. Oh, gotta put this back. Now. remember it having before but I don't have any of the belts hooked up besides the timing seems like it has a little bit of a of a shake to it now I mean I don't know where that came from but I mean it's running For some reason, the car was making a lot of ticking and uh, sound like a like a valve valve knocking. Um, put the car all back together, drove it for a while. Well, oh, I say a while is in like a good 45 minutes, and all the valve train noise had uh, the valve train noise kind of went away. So, so currently the car is still being driven and uh, it's doing. A whole lot better turns on super smooth and luckily we uh, we got away without having uh, catastrophic engine failure because usually you know you damage your valves thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one all right I'm gonna put all this back together